And it has become even more serious when a former DGP of the Kerala police has admitted publicly that yes, this is the practice and this is how we keep doing. So that is very serious, there is no doubt. I can't I can't respond to that kind of thing. I have already told you, unless I receive some complaint, some representation, something addressed to me, then I can even then I won't give you my opinion. How can I without first getting the matter investigated? Then I will proceed in accordance with the law. Can, you, can we expect uh, any suo moto action? Suo moto action in these things unless suo moto action on the basis of news reports at my level will I do not know if it I do not know if it will be proper. But yes, if I receive something, some complaint, some representation, some petition, then surely I can move forward in accordance with law. The, 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 the uh, ju judicial uh, committee which we had appointed, they have found the dean and the warden uh, not uh, acting as they should have. And then the parents of the, this young boy who had lost his life, they, they protested. I received other petitions. So we have not taken a final decision. We have merely stayed the implementation of the decision and asked for the report from the university authorities. So final decision will be taken later. But in view of the protest, in view of uh, the mm, uh, protest by the parents, in view of the representations of the other stakeholders, we have, what we have done is that we have asked the university not to implement, that is like a stay order, and final decision will be taken after hearing both the sides. <laughs> Other things I am not going to talk about, but the path where he, where he has made allegation that the telephone conversations of, of other people are being recorded by, the, by some police officer. That I have already told you, I have written to the Honorable Chief Minister and I am waiting for his reply.